Hi Aquarius, it's me Stormy and here's your horoscope for December 2018. And Aquarius, before we jump in, I just want to remind you that the new blog is up at stormygrace.com so you can click in there, check out all the major astrological aspects and transits for um, December 2018 and then of course moving through 2019. And you just have a few days left to take advantage of the 45,000 subscriber gift, a 15 minute appointment for $15, um, just to say thank you for 45,000 subscribers. So um, all of that is in the description box uh, and the links are down there below, okay? All right, Aquarius, so December is the take a deep breath month, right? It's the month where we don't have a whole heck of a lot of transitions happening. Energy is just kind of in the flow and we get to be responsive to it, which is such a lovely end to 2018. So let's take a deep breath and enjoy that, okay? Now, first and foremost, though, as we're coming into December, we've got Uranus, who is retrograde, but he's retrograded back into the energy of Aries. He's worked on this area in your life for seven years already. So this is no new information, okay? It's in the third house for you, the house of thinking, communication, decision-making, studying, siblings, all of these things fall into the third house zone, okay? So one of the things that I think is really important to do since Uranus is retrograde here is to first of all, look back seven years ago and what kind of progress have you made from seven years ago until now? on third house issues or third house ideas. Where were you and where have you come to? It's important to look back so you know where you're going when you're moving forward. The other thing that's really important to do with this Uranian energy here is to look at what attitudes, actions, and behaviors you're maybe still holding on to or that you still have that are causing you to still have some weird thinking. Maybe you're still communicating in a way that is not as effective as you'd like it to be. And feel free. Think outside of your box a little bit. You know, if you've been thinking about putting that website up or you've been thinking about doing something like that, think out of the box. Uranus is your ruling energy and it's outside of the box. Now, you may also feel like your mojo's a little bit diminished because when your ruling planet does go retrograde, it's kind of like letting a little air out of your balloon. So if that's something that's happening for you, take the slowdown as an indicator to just be observant, not necessarily to be worried, okay? Now, as we get into the month, We've got some good energies working and they're starting at the top of your chart. On the second, Venus is coming into the sign of Scorpio where she'll be joining Mercury who on the 6th will also be coming direct, okay? So for this first couple days, while Venus is just here in Scorpio, it's lighting up the 10th house space, so the tip top of your chart, your midheaven, which is your career, your job, your soul level calling, your status in the world, right? So Venus being up here in Scorpio, first thing I think about is that Venus wants to beautify and harmonize wherever she goes, right? So in your work life, you may be looking for a little but a bit of harmony. Are you working on that work home balance? Is that something you're still trying to achieve or you may be looking over that? As Mercury comes direct, you get forward thinking. So maybe you're able to see and make some decisions on how to allow that to happen a little bit more easily. Venus could also be at the top of your chart asking for a promotion or something of greater value in this particular area of your chart. Now, Venus romance at the job could definitely be a thing but I don't necessarily think that that's what's going on at this particular point in the year more so what I think Aquarius is that it's been a big year of like um, career things happening for you so I'm wondering if you're actually falling in love maybe with some work that you're doing or you found some peace you found some value to the work that you're doing out in the world maybe your job is even at this point maybe you were just doing something as simple as beautifying the office I mean in the United States it's holiday time for us so we've got Christmas lights and sparklies everywhere that you look so you could just be beautifying as well nonetheless Mercury here direct is giving you some good thinking good forward decision making business savvy energy okay now, when we get to the seventh of the month, we've got a new moon happening in Sagittarius along with Jupiter and the sun being over there. On the 12th, Mercury transitions into Sagittarian energy and into this new moon energy as well. Because remember, with the new moon, we've got that energy for four weeks, right? 
So at this new moon, what we're doing is we're planting these seeds of intention. We're beginning something new. We're beginning something fresh. In the energy of Sagittarius, it's adventurous. It's optimistic. It's seeking the truth, right? So this lighting up your 11th house space, this could be new friends, new things to your friendship sector. And Mercury is on par here. He's direct. He's clear. He's savvy. So friendship conversations. Maybe you're singing. Are you a caroler? Because I love those. Okay, so that could be something that's going on lots of social conversation are you going to parties um any of these things you could be planting seeds of new intention of friendships new long-range goals new social connections that you're going to get to develop over this next four weeks and here's the thing about it is that i think you're choosing them um based on pleasure, based on joy. I don't think you're choosing these people because you think they can help you do anything. I think you're choosing them because they're just nice to be around. Other things that be, could be coming into your zone with this 11th house energy is technological upgrades. Sagittarius and Jupiter energy are actually technology energies as well. You are an energy that is a little bit technological and social, so you can have some technology updates coming here as well and thank the lucky stars that Mercury is out of retrograde so you can get that new laptop or that new camera if you need it with very little worry of things being wrong but I will tell you because we still have some mercury shadow time to read those papers if you buy something you're signing a contract you're doing whatever read the fine print read it read it read it okay mercury shadow time is not over yet so we just don't want to get caught up in that all right now, as we coast towards the end of the month, we've got a full moon happening in Cancer, which is going to um, light up your sixth house over here. And we've also got the sun moving into Capricorn, who's just your next door neighbor there. So lighting up the 12th house space, okay? Now, a full moon in the sixth house First of all, the full moon says something has to be ended, acknowledged, or adjusted. There's a shift that needs to occur here, okay? So in the sixth house, one of the things I think of is that you're just like, okay, look, this is it. I'm going on a diet. I'm starting that fitness program. I'm I'm not taking this at work anymore. You know what I mean? It could be one of these because the moon is very emotional. It could be one of these very emotional um, realizations that you have and you are putting your foot down for change, right? So it's very much so an energy that is emotionally driven that moves you into something different in your routine. Now, maybe it's not so drama for you. It could just be that you have this emotional realization that you can absolutely not blame anyone else for your unhappiness if you're not having if you're not happy right you also can't blame anybody else for your happiness if you're having that that it's a part of your daily routine it's a part of what you're doing in your life right whatever your emotional state is is a byproduct of the actions that you're taking in your daily life and I think with the full moon here in the sixth house you're very very aware of that so good relationships with co-workers could be on the agenda education or education and exercise, nutrition, daily routine, it's all going to come to a little bit of an adjustment. Now with the sun over in the 12th house, the sun is saying, see me, see me, this is where I want you to see me and pay attention to what I'm doing, right? So with the sun over here in the 12th house, this helps you uncover things from that shadow sector that may be impacting your daily routine, right? It may unearth some spiritual things that come up, you know, because the 12th house holds the space of things that are bubbling beneath the surface and then you put the big old sun there and there's no hiding what's been going on whether it's bubbling joy and enthusiasm and creativity and you cannot wait to spew that out at work or it's something that's been bothering you whatever it is there's a lot of freedom in this sun moon energy happening in these two planes for you and it gets you going and that's the best news about these two pieces of energy right here so look forward to having some shift here as well and I will tell you too with the sun in the 12th house this is a great time if you need some downtime or quiet time, Aquarius. Absolutely take it, but I think it's the space of a really beautiful spiritual awakening as well. Whenever we grab control of our own lives and say, I'm going to fill in the blank, there's this spiritual awakening that happens that is so gorgeous. And then the world becomes very big and you realize there's space to create a lot of things out there. In fact, pretty much whatever you want. So. 
All right, Aquarians, I think it's going to be a great month. Please keep me posted on what's going on for you this month, how it's manifesting for you. Put it in the comment section down below. Whatever holidays you could be celebrating as well, I just want to say happy whatever your holiday is. I love it, okay? <laughs> like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next month. Bye, you guys.